I want to tell you some tips on how to feel, how to feel your beautiful. So if that's something that you'd like to hear a little bit more about, you keep on watching. Hello, beautiful. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna talk about something that is so near and dear to my heart. Um, and that is, you know, before I even go there, let me just say that, um, this is for those of us who feel like we need a, a little extra boost occasionally, okay? Um, and it really is a feeling. You know, there is nothing more empowering than feeling sexy or feeling beautiful. And let me just jump right into all of my tips on how you can feel just a little bit more beautiful. These tips are in no particular order, no particular order. So you pick and choose the ones that you can use. And for the one that does not relate to you, then keep it moving. Now, let me just say this is, is a disclaimer. If this video is not for you, please click off, go somewhere else and you spend your time doing something that is of value to you. If you want to feel a little bit more beautiful, if you want to feel a little sexier, if you sometimes feel like you are at a point where you just could use a little boost, come on, let's get started. So the first is to have a five minute makeup look, right? Five minute makeup look so that, let's say you just wanna, you just feel like being a little bit prettier for yourself that day. It's amazing what a red lip can do. Five minutes. I tend to go and get my lashes done because it makes a five minute makeup look that much easier. Um, but just brows, lip gloss, a little concealer, you will be surprised at how you feel, how you look and how you feel when you take just a few extra minutes to do those things. Tip number two is to know the clothes, know the clothes that fit your body, right? Um, there are certain things that I just can't wear because my belly says, mm -mm, don't you do that. <laughs> or my so there are things that I will not wear because I just feel like I'm not going to feel my beautiful in that thing. So know the clothes, know those items, those pieces that are going to make you feel you're beautiful. Number three, correct your posture. Just sitting up a little bit straighter will make you feel a little more empowered. It'll make you feel a little more in control. Just try it. Number four is to learn to give yourself a mini makeover. That can be anything from um, changing your hair color, changing your hair length, putting on a wig, adding a little streak of color to your hair. Um, it can be going from lipstick to lip gloss. It can be um, just anything, finding something new so that you feel a new you and a new you're beautiful. You can do all kinds of little things to just make you feel a little bit more of your beautiful. Oil down, oil down your decolletage. And this is whether you are um, living alone, if you're married, whatever the case may be. This is not for anybody else. This is for you. So that when you get a little glimpse of yourself in the mirror, when you are strolling by a mirror, you're looking in your rear view mirror uh, as you're driving, anything. Oil, especially in the summer, you wanna oil down your decolletage. I love to do this at first thing in the morning, you know, after I do my, uh, Spa shower at night, I oil down from head to toe. But yeah, oil down your decolletage, just trust me on this. This area um, is an area that we don't give enough attention to in terms of skincare. So it can get really um, aged. It can start to show our age really prematurely. Um, but not to worry, it is never too late to start taking care of your skin. 
your skin is just gonna rejuvenate itself, right? So it's never too late to start taking care of it. Know the colors that flatter your skin tone. And that's for blouses, for dresses, for coats. Tone. I don't know if my tone is warm or cool. I'm not talking about that. You know how, if you hold something up to your skin, if it looks pretty on you, you be the judge of that, nobody else. Listen, have you subscribed yet? If not, girl, what are you waiting on? You know it's free, right? Hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, and you will be notified every time I post a new video. Number seven is to, okay, so you have to wear shoes that aren't the, the four inch heels that maybe you used to wear. I have to never wear four inch heels. I've always been someone that um, has had bad feet um, and my knees are not, where I'd like them to be. So I've never been able to really wear heels. I remember wearing heels, putting on my sister's heels. I was like 32 and I put my sister's heels on. She left them at my house one day by, by accident. She wore them every day, um, wore heels every day. And I put on her four inch heels for like, listen y'all, I put her heels on for like one minute, one minute. I didn't even go anywhere. I just put the heels on for one minute. My back was hurting for two days. Oh, well, heels are not for me. As much as I love them and they are so beautiful to me, but listen, if you gotta wear a comfortable shoe in the summertime, throw an anklet on with that shoe. Rock that anklet with those sneakers. Number eight is to find a new scent that smells amazing on you. There's nothing like, I know I've said, I mentioned this before, but there is nothing like getting a whiff of yourself during the day. Getting a whiff of yourself and you just being like, mm, girl, you smelling good. Number nine is to make your bed over the top luxurious. Listen, when you go into your bedroom and you see that bed made like it is made for a queen, Look here, there is no feeling like it. It is worth the extra effort, I promise you. When your bed is made as if it is made for the queen that you are, you'll put, it'll put a little bit of strut in your step. It will also make you look forward to going to bed at night. Number 10, along with those, um, the anklet that you're gonna put on with your comfy shoes, Sometimes we have to wear shoes that are just not the best. For me, I'm speaking for myself now. There are some shoes I have to, I find that I have to wear shoes that my doctor has suggested that I wear and I don't love them. So I bought this one pair, it's, um, I, I bought this one pair. I have a ton of them. They're usually very pretty. I found these this pair on sale. I put them on and I was like, yuck, these are so ugly they are the most comfortable shoes ever so what do I do with them I put some jewels on them that's what I did I put some jewels on those shoes and you know what I love them now I love the way that they make my feet look my daughter suggested that I get white polish on my toes and listen y'all can't nobody tell me nothing about my little uh jeweled sandals and listen you can do it with crocs you can do you can jewel croc other people will do it for you when i was looking at how to add jewels to my my sandals i saw that there were so many people that will actually do it for you so it's not something that you have to do yourself put jewels on them shoes just leave me a comment in the comment section of whatever is on your mind your comments your engaging you're liking the video you're subscribing, all of those things really support my channel and just you watching. So let me just say thank you so much for watching. Number 11, find that dress that looks like it was tailored for you, tailor-made for you. You know, there are some dresses where you just feel like, mm, mm. but then there are those dresses where you like, Oh, okay then. Find that dress and then get it in every single color that looks good on you. Number 12, 
this is something that we all can do a, a lot more of, regardless of how you're feeling, how you're looking that day. It is the most easiest thing you can do to feel a little bit more beautiful, and that is to smile. Um, there is nothing um, that lifts your mood more than you just smiling. You can be by yourself. When you smile, there's something about just turning the corners of your mouth up that tells your brain, it like signals your brain that something good is happening to you in that moment. So smile more. Start taking care of your skin. You know, I talked about your decolletage, but I'm talking about your face, your hands, your arms, your legs. Listen, if you're like me, you probably have some cellulite. I don't care about my cellulite. I'm not talking about that. I am talking about putting oil and using the right um, moisturizers on your skin, regardless of whether or not you're starting tomorrow or you started 10 or 15 years ago. It is never too late. You can ask any dermatologist. It is never too late to start taking care of the skin that you are in. Number 14 is one that I struggle with, y'all. I struggle with it. And that is to keep your space clean. Oh my goodness. I hate having a junky house. I hate it. I hate it. I wish that I could pay a, um, a housekeeper to come in and actually organize things and put my clothes away and, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> because I really hate not having a clean space. I hate it. It's something that stresses me out. But when my space is clean, when my space is clean and well organized, I feel like a million bucks. So keep your space clean. Clean is to not compare your beautiful to anybody else's beautiful. Simple as that. Whatever your beautiful looks like, that is your beautiful and you rock your beautiful. Don't compare it to anybody else's. Remember, it's just one you. Nobody on the planet can be you. Listen, I have so many videos on self-care and self-empowerment and nurturing yourself and all of that good stuff. So I will leave a link to that here somewhere on the screen. Hopefully you will check that out and I will meet you over there. Thanks so much for watching. I will be praying for you and I'll see you soon.